Welcome everybody to another unboxing. No, this is not an old video or the last video if you watch it. This is just me doing two videos at the same time basically in one day. Um, Cause I just got this one in and I wanted to unbox it and I didn't feel like changing and making it seem like Oh, it's another day. I mean, I'm recording them at the same. I'm recording them at the same time, so why not just be honest with you guys? Um, so we're gonna take a look at the new TechCraft um, Mercurio Vapor 13. Is it? Are we at the 13? Man, time just goes by. So let's see this. All right. This is, if you don't know what TechCraft is, it's basically the Nike's variation of their shoes in leather form where they turn it into leather. They did the, um, the Vapor, they did the Tiempo, and they did the Phantom GT that just released. Uh, the Phantom GT looks cool, but again, as I said in my other video, that one just wasn't for me, so I don't know if the leather one would be feel any different. Um, I did watch other reviews. They did not say it was that great. However, they did say this one was good. So I'm hoping to um, when I get to try them out to like them because I did not, to be honest, the last TechCraft or the Mercurial, I just I did I didn't really like to be honest. It felt like an 11. It wasn't tight around my foot. Like I I, I don't know. It was just it just. And it wasn't, I don't even know if it was real leather or not. I really don't think it was real leather. And then the Tiempo, of course, is already a leather. So I don't know how they can make that a tech craft leather on leather. I don't know. I mean, they've been doing it. So who knows what they did different. But oh yeah, as you can see, we got here. Silver box, like I said, um, this is the normal um, Nike boxes that you get. Vapor 13, and it is black, white, white pro, and gold. No special paper, nothing like that. But then you get the shoe, and man, there it is. So it looks like for this one, they kind of went on based on the. If you remember, the first Premier boot had this, uh, the very first one that came out in what, 90? I don't even remember when the first one came out. I could have been way sooner than that, actually. Might have been, hmm. I don't know, but they kind of took this design, not the not the premiere like the new premieres that are out. I'm talking about like the old retro, the original premiere. Um, so they took that design and put that on there. They got this big swoosh on here that's like the lightning bolt cut in half. Um, yeah, they even used this this design was inspired from that. Uh, you probably can't see in there because it's not bright enough in here. Um, but yeah, if you can see, maybe I can get it close enough. Focus. No. Yeah, you kind of see it. Maybe I'll post a picture if you can. So, but yeah, so basically, stud pattern, the same. Everything the same. Um, other than, okay, now this is weird, but this is how I do my testing of leather. And as you can see, we got the bag. It's basically the Nike Tech Grab. This is like basically the same as the last edition. Um, so this is how I do my leather um, check. And it might be weird, but I smell it. And there's no smell <laughs> of leather. So, but at least on this one, for the most part, there isn't anything that says it's a uh, it's a uh, um, synthetic. Which on the last edition there was a sticker saying that it was synthetic, and you, this is supposed to be a real leather. So I don't know. Um, but basically, what they did was just took the leather and put it over top of the fly knit. Um, now can definitely feel it like they did that but a lot of people have said that it, it feels pretty great it feels really good um you would think that that wouldn't work out um but in this case people said it does um so i mean flying it is great leather is great 
still light boot, still, you know, amazing, I would say. So just got to give it a try, I guess, and then, and then see how it feels. Um, these vapors are a little bit wider anyway. Um, I don't know if the leather makes it seem a little wider than normal, but I wonder, I wonder then if it's going to be able to mold to your foot because of the fly knit. Cause if you know, fly knit kind of just keeps its shape and it's supposed to give you a, a good, you know, fit, but I don't know if you'll be able to feel the leather then. So at the same time, it's like, is this really, I feel like if they did something where somehow the fly knit was just around the tongue maybe and like avoided this here and everything was just leather, but then the fly knit was right here around. So it kind of gives you that tight fit still. I think that would be good and just make this whole leather. But as you can see, well, I don't know the camera pick it up, but you can definitely tell that the fly knit is underneath the, the leather. Um, maybe the camera won't pick it up, but still I'm excited to try it. I think they went, they, they picked the right colors for it. Like I said, it's an, it's a, it's a, it's a, a nod, I guess, back to the, the, the premiere. I'll post a picture of that. Hopefully I can put it somewhere here and just give you guys a sense of what they, why they went off that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, looks like a good shoe. Um, I will have to try it somehow, some way and let you guys know what I really think about it. Um, but, so my question to you guys, before I end this video, do you guys prefer this one or do you guys prefer the pink Superfly? If you could have any shoe, any shoe given to you for free, would you prefer the Techcraft or would you prefer just the normal regular vapor? I really like the, the idea of the leather vapor, uh, but I think they just still need to work on making it perfect. Well, it's never going to be perfect, but I feel they can do a little bit better job of making it better. Um, cause they, I mean, the athletes don't really endorse this anyway, so I don't know how much they really care about making it a good product instead of just releasing a product. Does that make sense? You know, maybe they just want to get a product out there and not really care since they really don't have any athletes focus on wearing it. Um, but I could see this is still better than last year's. It feels, feels a little bit better. I wouldn't say it feels like a, a great real leather, but it definitely feels better than the last edition. And maybe that fine it will help it. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong and, and it's going to feel good. But I can't wait to try them on. So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for, if you watched the last video and you're confused, like I said, if I'm wearing the same clothes, it's only because I recorded them back to back. So again, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.